All right, guys, this is a new video series I'm starting in which I will share the main news updates about the Kansas City Chiefs from the day prior in a short and concise manner. And I'll also share the three biggest non-Chiefs related NFL news updates that happened yesterday as well. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Cole, and if you love the Kansas City Chiefs, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on because I'm doing daily news about our favorite team. Okay, here is your daily Chiefs news update. One, Tyreek Hill is still in the works of a contract extension. According to Aaron Wilson of Pro Football Network, the expectation is Hill's new extension will be around a four-year contract worth approximately $85 million total and more than $40 million guaranteed. Two, Orlando Brown Jr. got franchise tagged yesterday, and the Chiefs later announced that it was a non-exclusive franchise tag. That means Brown has the freedom to negotiate with other teams, and the Chiefs can match that offer or let Brown go in exchange for two first-round draft picks and compensation. James Palmer tweets a few things with the Chiefs and left tackle Orlando Brown Jr. They've been planning on tagging him and are pretty confident they can sign him long-term this offseason. They expect that to take some time. Last season was his first at left tackle and allowed four sacks in 715 pass block snaps. Mike Garofalo tweets out and says, I spoke to Jamal Brown, former NFL OT and mentor to Orlando Brown Jr. And Jamal told me Orlando is deciding whether to represent himself or to hire an agent. He won't sign the franchise tag until that gets sorted out. Also, he has a charity event in late March, so his focus is on that too. He also said that Orlando, quote, wants to be in Kansas City and wants to sign a long-term deal. He wants Kansas City to understand he's the type of player who can be there for the rest of his career. He's a cornerstone left tackle. Three, Tyron Matthew is going to test the market in free agency and continues cryptically tweeting on Twitter. Yesterday, he said, we all get what we want if slash when you believe enough then posted that along with a graphic that said just fall back so they can lean on the ones they think so highly of. Then, of course, he had to clap back at someone in the comment section. He said, y'all folks special. We will see who mad next week. He then tweeted in what appears to be a now deleted tweet and said, the more y'all speak on me, the more I realize how much you don't know, lol. Four, Clyde Edwards Alaire posted a Twitter video in which he epically rides around on a horse that is about as small as him. Well, according to Twitter horse doctors, he could damage the horse's back though. So maybe next time he will need a bigger horse. Okay, from here, I want to talk about big NFL news updates. So not Chiefs related, but definitely worth knowing about. Before I do that, though, if you're enjoying this video, can you hit that like button so more Chiefs fans can find this content? Okay, here we go. One, the NFL salary cap for the 2022 season was revealed Monday. According to Lindsey Jones of The Athletic, the league has officially set the number at $208.2 million, which is an increase of $25.7 million per team from the 2021 salary cap. Two, former Colts tight end Jack Doyle announced his retirement on Monday. He said he has a deep love for the game of football, but at this time, his body is telling him that the sacrifices he's made over the years, he can no longer take, so he is going to be hanging up the cleats. Three, and probably the news you already know about, the craziest one is Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Calvin Ridley got suspended for a minimum of one year for betting on games, per Adam Schefter on Twitter. The NFL determined that Calvin Ridley placed multi-legged parlay bets involving three, five, and eight games that included the Falcons to win. Her source. Wow. Investigation determined there was no involvement from any team players, coaches, etc. placed via his mobile device out of state. Okay, if you follow my channel regularly, you may know that I've made a video before about the Chiefs potentially trying to snag Calvin Ridley as a solid wide receiver too. So, a big never mind on that idea. Calvin Ridley actually responded on Twitter as all this was happening. He tweeted a total of five tweets, but worth noting the day before all this news broke, he actually tweeted and said, I learned from my L's. Then the next day the news broke and he tweeted 
these five tweets. I bet $1,500 total I don't have a gambling problem. I couldn't even watch football at that point. Just going to be more healthy when I come back. I know I was wrong, but I'm getting one year, LOL. If you know me, you know my character. All right, guys, with all that being said, what are your thoughts on the news? Anything stand out for you? Anything that annoyed you? What do you think about Calvin Ridley? What do you think about Tyron Matthew and the Twitter section? My thoughts on this, what are you doing, Calvin Ridley? Somebody tweeted and said he traded $1,500 for his $10 million contract. That is probably the worst gamble in history. As far as Tyron on Twitter, I wish he would just kind of stop. I don't understand what he's doing, um, tweeting at fans. Like, what are you doing, bro? You're, you're the professional athlete. You're making millions of dollars. Like, man, just kick it with the fam and do you. Don't worry about Twitter trolls. That's at least my take on that. I would love to know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. Make sure you like and sub for more daily news about the Chiefs and also check out the video here that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. And until next time, let's go, let's go. How about those? Chiefs?